to this week's video blog. So for this week's video blog, um, by request, I'm going to talk about a little big happening <laughs> that, oh, I'm not sure if you've heard that siren just went by. Um, I didn't do it, I swear. You can't stop me from talking about what I'm about to talk about, because people want to know. Now, full disclosure, I am a fantasy, and I'm going to pronounce their names wrong because that's what I do, Mireille Danner and Baran Kazoom Shipper. I am a Miran fantasy shipper. But I was fully cognizant of the reality that Mireille was actually in a relationship with Kubale Aka? Again, I mis mispronounce Turkish names. That's what I do. That's what this Canadian, Portuguese Canadian girl does. Uh, so they were in a relationship. And he played her brother in Wounded Love. A amazing Turkish drama that if you have not seen it, you must see it. Um, I maybe I'll put the link into of uh, the video that I did for what to watch during Droughtlander. Um, I did a video for um, Wounded Love, which is a Turkish drama, um, and um, it's it's spoilery as all get out. But um, I I think you should watch the show, and and in the video I tell you why. So Mireille and Kubale were in a relationship for, they met on the set, so they were dating for at least two years, two years, maybe three. And some pictures came out uh, from the Turkish tabloids, basically saying that they had split up. And I was sad about it because even though <laughs> I shipped her with Borad, I, I, I understood the reality that she was with Kubale, and I was happy for them. I thought they made a good-looking couple. You know, she was this pixie, bubbly burst of energy person, and he was this. And they're both like fantastic, fantastic actors. Uh, he was the more serious uh, one in that relationship for sure um and then he came out with an instagram post uh talking about how yes um they they had decided to go their separate ways or their turkish version of consciously uncoupling as gwyneth paltrow and her husband chris martin had said at the time which was just ridiculous you broke up shut up <laughs> conscious uncoupling my ass um, so Kubale came out with the Instagram post saying that, yes, they had, um, they had broken up, but that they st still cared about each other, that, uh, sh that he would always love her, and that he would he always, like, be there for her, and that regardless of what anyone said, nobody was, um, it, it was a mutual breakup, and, um, that there was nothing else, there was no drama involved, there was nothing else in the picture. Then the tabloid picture came out, where he was seen grabbing the ass of some random hoochie in a bar. And where we all knew, no cheating my ass. My Aunt Fanny. No cheating. B.S. So apparently it was he knew that the tabloid pictures were going to come out. So in order to get the jump on it and make himself seem like the victim, he came out with the post acting like he was, you know, this, this upstanding moral guy who, you know, he and Mireille would, uh, that he, he cared about her and 
would always love her and he all only had like the most wonderful sentiments for her so he put out that bs in order to head off the actual truth that was coming which was that he was a cheating douche nozzle now I try really hard to try and separate the art from the artist. I mean, all that stuff that happened with Michael Jackson and the children, <laughs> the many, many children, which I'm sorry, you can believe it or you cannot, but I believe that it happened. I, I'm not saying who or what is lying about who or what, but all the ridiculousness that he has done doesn't take the, away from the fact that he's an amazing musician. All this ridiculousness that Kubelay has done does not take away from the fact that he's a fantastic actor, and I'm trying to keep that in mind because I really want to see his new show. <laughs> his new show that's going to be on Netflix um, called Love 101 or something like that. And he's in it with, and again, I'm going to mispronounce her name, and I'm sorry, but Pinar Dennis, who played also played his sister in Wounded Love, who played Yildiz in Wounded Love. And I was so excited that they were going to be working together again. And then this horse pucky happened. And it's like... <sighs> First of all, <laughs> dear Kubelay, you dumbass. <laughs> Not only do you cheat on this woman who is like turkey's sweetheart but you take your hoochie to a bar in public and you're groping her in public like you don't know what the turkish tabloids are like I mean, the American tabloids, they're something. The European tabloids are even worse. The Turkish tabloids, from what I've seen, are freaking insane. So your dumb, dumb head decides that it's a good idea to, <laughs> to take your hoochie to a bar and be groping her in public. Now, apparently, um, this is not a new development. And I think the only statement, public statement that Mireille has made is that she's known for a while that something was going on. And finally, when she, when I think her family, um, like her family, I think knew before she did, but at, like she's known for a while. And then when the visual confirmation came, that's when she dumped his ass. And good for my baby queen, because she deserved better than a cheating douche nozzle. Or Anne, perhaps, if I might suggest. I mean, as far as I know, he's single. Um, so, then we have Pinar outside of a cafe and she gets asked about the whole Mireille Kubelay debacle. He, she gets asked like what her thoughts are, if she has anything. Thing. And she, who up to this point, I always thought was a friend of Mireille's, 
she utters the stupidity that is, oh, I think Mireille overreacted by dumping him. He was just, he just happened to brush, his hand just happened to brush against her while he was reaching to, reaching for something. Girl, bye. His hand was on her ass like she, like Kubele was checking the ripeness of avocados in a market. Get out of here. He was squeezing that ass like he was squeezing a melon in the produce section. Get the f out of here with that bull. Oh, he just brushed a girl. He was squeezing that ass like. Like he was making one of those squishy videos. I just cannot even with that BS. And I'm, I'm like overreacting. So, Pinar, you're telling me that if your boyfriend, who is Burke, he, he's also an actor. Hot as two. Um, that if your boyfriend was seen in a bar groping some woman's ass, that you would have been totally okay with it. You wouldn't have done something silly like overreact and dump him. No, no, no. You would have been like, here, honey, let me grope her ass, too. You would have been totally okay with it, right? Girl, bye. I mean, I... I just cannot even with that BS. <laughs> Meanwhile, Boran <laughs> is like... Y'all are, like, rounding up Mireille's friends and, like, getting trying to get gossip from them and like trying to like hound them for like st like stuff for your tabloids y'all i'm going to prague <laughs> and he booked it the hell out of turkey he was like i want no part of this i'm leaving the country <laughs> just made me laugh because it happened like around the exact same time this story broke he went to prague <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i'm just like I, I i'm disappointed in both of you kubale and pinar i'm disappointed in the two of you um but i'm trying to separate again the art from the artist and i want to stay excited for the fact that the two of you are working together um, on the new Netflix show, Love 101. Um, because I really wanted to watch it. And now, like, every time I see your two dumbass faces, I'm gonna remember your dumbassness. Dumbassness. Dumbassness-nish. <laughs> the dumbass things you did. Um, yeah. So, those are my thoughts on it. My baby queen, Mireille, will be just fine. Oh! Before I forget, the person that he cheated on her with was the girlfriend of her previous co-star. Uh, she did a show after Wounded Love uh, called something like One, One Leader of Tears or something, and uh, I think it was... I think it went one season only, which is a shame because the, the, the premise of it seemed really, really good. It was uh, inspired by this true story of this girl who um, develops a disease. And, and I think, does she die? I don't remember if she dies, but I, yeah. Um, and she has a love interest on that show. And I remember seeing a picture of Mireille Kubele, her male co-star, and the male co-star's girlfriend. So this was, 
she did the show after Wounded Love, and I think she started that show in 2018, I think it was last year, uh, and there was a picture of the four of them all in a picture together, and it turns out his girlfriend is the hoochie in the bar. So this piece of crap doo-doo, Kubele, and this hoochie were sniffing around each other for at least a year. Who knows if they started boinking a year ago? Because apparently Mire says she's she's known about it for a while. Who how long a while is, I don't know. But I'm like, okay, here's the thing. Relationships end. But are you so sackless and without balls that you have to like actually go around and cheat on someone as opposed to just breaking things off with them? Like, why couldn't you just tell her? I'm starting to have feelings for this other person or my feelings for you, even though like I, I either I don't feel the same for you anymore or I still love you, but I'm starting to have feelings for this other person. And I don't want to hurt you, so I'm going to be a grown-ass man and end our relationship before I do something sleazy and douche-buckety, like stick my penis in another woman's vagina. Instead, I'm going to break up with you first because I'm a grown-ass man. Now, mind you, if somebody said to me, yes, of course, that would hurt. But it would hurt a lot more if you were sneaking around behind her back because you don't have the balls to break up with her first. Like, how hard is it to just be like, I have feelings for this other person. If you're capable of that emotion, like the relationship would still be over, but I would have a lot more respect for you if you broke up with me first and then went and pursued your, your feelings for this other woman. Then if you spent a year going around behind my back because you're a ballless little boy that is just my take on it. The relationship would still be over, but I would still respect you. And some people are like, some people think that it's somehow worse if they fall in love with somebody than if they just want to have sex with somebody. Not in my opinion. In my opinion, if you fall in love with somebody, you can't help that. You can help what you do about it, but you can't help the emotion. You can't control the emotion. If you go and betray me just because you want to have sex with somebody else, just because you want to stick your penis in another vagina, that, in my opinion, is so much worse. Because you're willing to betray me, not because you have genuine emotional feelings for another person, but because you're horny? That's how little my relationship with you means to you? Go f yourself. So that is my opinion of it. He should have broken things off with Mire long before it got to this point. And then pursued something with Hoochie. Instead, girl who probably would have been a nice, respectable girl, becomes Hoochie because she is cheating on her 
her boyfriend with someone else's boyfriend. Get the f*** out of here. Y'all two deserve each other, and I cannot wait for the day when either he cheats on the hoochie or the hoochie cheats on him. That, and then Marae will just be standing there with her glass of wine, all happy with her new boy toy, with her new honey bunny, hopefully Beren, I'm just saying, throwing it, out, throwing it out there into the universe, smiling and drinking her wine like the baby queen she fucking is. You threw over freaking Chanel for Calvin Klein's exclamation. Boy, bye. That's all I have to say. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash author e jamie. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash author e jamie. And I will talk to you guys next time. Subscribe here on my YouTube channel for all manner of yummy wounded love stuff, videos, vlogs, all that fun stuff. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.